Okay, welcome uh, to this week's episode of the actual, it, this is the inaugural video, first episode of our podcast. Uh, you'll see it as Brocast. We're going with the, the Brocade thing, wanted to keep things consistent. Um, and at the time of you yeah. seeing this, there should be a cool overlay, actually, that um, Dom is making for us. So you'll have that to look forward to um, on your end, uh, viewer. Um, so yeah, so in this week's episode, I guess I'll just get right into it. Uh, we are going to be discussing a couple things, some of which will be a little more like broad um, because it kind of encompasses a bunch of topics and then some stuff, it should really just be a little more straightforward. So um, for the first bit, we're going to be talking about um, the upcoming PlayStation Showcase this uh, Thursday. Uh, it's Thursday, right? I'm getting it right? Yes. Okay, yes. I thought so. I just want to make sure. absolute sure. Okay, you know, don't want to spread the false information. Yeah, so this Thursday um, at, I believe it's 4 p.m. Eastern time for uh, Michael and I and 1 p.m. for Demetrius. So uh, we're going to be discussing some of the things that we want to see there. Obviously, there have been some teases on Twitter and things like David Jaffe was teasing something going off on Twitter about, oh, like, you, it's going to blow your minds. It's crazy. So we can pretty much assume... We're going to see some stuff for God of War Ragnarok, which I know we're all um, elated for. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's kind of, I guess, like what we kind of know. I mean, I know PlayStation has, has said a few things as well. Like it'd be from some bigger devs and some smaller devs and whatever. It's supposed to be 40 minutes long. And then they said there's going to be um, like a discussion, like a panel thing or whatever you want to call it afterwards, where you'll get to hear like some of the devs talk about some of what was shown. Um, so yeah, so we're going to be discussing that for the first half of today's podcast and for the back half, um, considering it's now September um, and um, what's it called? Uh, Fandom, sorry, mush brain over here, is uh, in October. We're going to be covering that as well and talking about some things that we want to see. Most likely, at least knowing Demetrius and I, specifically we really want to get into Gotham Knights and the Suicide Squad game from Rocksteady. So we're really... Uh, really itching to uh, discuss some of those things. So yeah, without uh, further ado, I guess we'll just get right into it. And also I'm joined today by the usual, uh, the hooligans, Michael and Demetrius. Uh, welcome guys. Thanks man. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome. <laughs> wow, fancy, fancy. A little a little too high class for us here at Brocade. I don't know about that one. I know. Didn't feel right. What's up, like? What there, there you go, more? yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go, there it is. That's better. That's something uh, I'm more, uh, more Honestly, I was gonna say like that, the fact that, uh, the fact that, um, you know, the PlayStation Showcase is this coming Thursday, I think that's like a that's a perfect a perfect late birthday present because like, um, you know, like I'd be twenty five on Monday, getting old. So yeah, oh, um, <laughs> I think that would be a uh, a great um, late birthday present because I have a feeling that that show's gonna blow our socks off. I, th I think it's gonna be very equivalent to what we saw in twenty twenty when we saw Miles Morales and. Mm -hmm. um, we saw Horizon, all those big games for the yeah. first time, and how everybody freaked out. I think it's going to be at that scale because if you if you uh, look at what PlayStation said in their official blog, they literally said, uh, "You guys waited patiently. This is the moment you've been waiting for. The big titles, like they know what we want to see." Oh and, yeah, they know. Um, they know. Yeah. Yes, and so um, God of War, you know, God of War Ragnarok. That's one that <laughs> a lot of us has been talking about for jump because like oh, yeah. the first one was phenomenal. Like, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. Like, the emotional character arc um, Atreus and Kratos go on from beginning to, to the end is just splendid. Because I, it's like the way they did it. Because the thing, too, I remember people. a lot of people are scared because, like, they're like, bro, you're including a kid in this game. You know what I mean? Like, you know, because, like, yeah, having kids in the game could be a very hit or a miss. But I think because of Corey Barlog's experiences of being a father, and, you know, maybe other people at Sony Santa Monica being parents, I feel like they injected that, you know, that energy into the game. You know what I mean? So, yeah, yep. um, it really, just seeing, it really uh, bleeds into it. Like you can definitely yes. feel the, the love that they, they give that for sure. No, exactly. And uh, just seeing, you know, the maturity of Kratos and who's been this one note type character for the first three games being angry all the time, just, you know, seeking vengeance and all that stuff. It's great to see him come out on the other side as a better person and a, and a, and a great father. You know what I mean? So yeah. um, I can't wait because just in case if anybody hasn't played it, I don't want to get into a lot of specifics about this game. Yeah. Um, because it's, you know, it's a very great story that you trust me, you will love. Um, but from where they end off, it opens so many possibilities for the sequel and where they go from there. Because it, man, especially, and I'm going to tell you this right now. 
if you haven't played this game, when you do beat it, when you do beat it, and trust me, you won't regret this, and Dale and Michael back me up. Yeah. Go back to Kratos' house. Trust me. Oh, yeah, I'm Go sure. You, I'm sure. Game, I mean, honestly, I, I think we're probably, I mean, we can be like a little bit vague. I'm I'm not too yeah. concerned. I mean, when did that came out? 2018. I'm sure most people have yeah. played it. Or, oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, was it 2017? 2017. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. But it was like, no, it came out 20, no, it came out 20, no, it came out April 2018. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Right. All right, look at us. We're doing yeah. well. We're doing well. Yeah. Um, you know, got our date straight. <laughs> Classic us. <laughs> um, But no, I, I feel you, honestly. Um. I know, like, we, we talked a little bit about this before we started recording, that um, Corey Barlog, the uh, creative director, I believe, right? He's the creative director, yes? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the football, yeah, I, like, oh, I, yeah, I, I don't. From what it sounds like, he won't be the creative director on this one coming okay. up, but he was on the first on the first. Okay, okay, cool. Sure. Cool, just oh, want to make sure I have my yeah. facts straight. Okay, yeah, so well, Corey yeah, Barlog. Why wouldn't he be? I don't know. I mean, on, hell, honestly, maybe, oh, maybe so he wanted he, to write a little bit more, like, do something his, else. Um, he, sure. actually, he, actually, uh, he actually said why. Oh, okay. Pretty much because... He wants other people to inject their own flavor into the game, essentially. So fair enough. He fair won't, enough. Yeah, yeah. So that's pretty much why. Well, I mean, hell, same team. So I'm sure well, you know it'll still be like equally as good. But all right, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, yeah. so Corey Barlog, the creative director. I know. Um, I remember there was some stuff. I believe he said. You know, you uh, well. I can't remember if he literally said it. I think he did there because there was like a few or a documentary that came out and some things like that where he was kind of talking about he was like nervous. And I remember there was a video that he released like the night the review scores went up I'll, I'll like never forget that when talking about this game where he like when they when he saw the scores come in and it was like 10 10 10 9 10 like they were really yeah. really really good like i mean overwhelmingly positive that. he like broke down crying and stuff mm -hmm. so you can tell like on one hand it's probably like pride but on the other hand it's you know because they put a lot of blood sweat and tears into that it was um a big big undertaking like taking a character that you know kind of like Dimitri said and you know it's not we're not shitting on kratos but he very much was like in the first two games just like angry like avenging his family and no one's saying we don't understand that i mean god forbid no pun intended here if you're a guy you get tricked into killing your family and whatever you're like of, of course you would go down that path that's that's pretty understandable it's not even like it isn't relatable from a character standpoint it's just cool to see um him evolve and like mm -hmm. he does that, he sets out on his goal at the end, like achieves, sets out on the, the, the quest, if you will, whatever, achieves his goal at the end of three. And it's like, well, now what? And it's really cool in four. I mean, you just call it God of War, but you know, it's four. Um, seeing that like the next thing he did, he kind of just fucked off, went over to another mythology, but instead of being like, hey, I'm going to take over here or whatever. He's like, no, I just want to settle down and have a fucking family and pretty much live life as a man because mm -hmm. all this anger and rage and killing is just like taking a toll and I did what I needed to do. So like, let's let's kind of change. And, and, and like Demetrius said, that arc that he goes through is awesome. Like right from the beginning where, you know, because the, the uh, wife, uh, it's uh, Faye, right? The, the, yeah. the mom's name? Yeah, yeah. So like Faye yeah. dies and then he's like they're burning the, the casket and whatever and, and you can tell like he kinda wants to like be there for his son, but he's hesitant because you know, I think he and he even says a line, but he's like afraid of kinda like like messing it up and being like not being enough now that the mother is gone and he doesn't know how to be that like kind of nurturing role or whatever you know he's just kind of like worried he's gonna mess it up and they're not really at the best yeah. place like with the relationship where it picks up and it's so touching like going through the whole journey and i mean ultimately like kratos is flawed in the beginning but you really really see like he, he clearly cares about his kid like he cares about atreus and it's awesome to see that end point you know yeah. like, like where they go and we've been discussing for a little bit before recording like some of our favorite moments from the game and like one of mine is actually after you quote unquote beat the game and you're walking yeah. back down the steps and like the credits are rolling or whatever but you're still playing and then you get like a really nice story from kratos talking about how um how he settled on or basically like who atreus was and it was like a commander when he was a spartan or whatever this like valiant like hero guy or whatever that taught him a lot and 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 whatever I, it's been a while but like you know he goes in this big long detail and basically kind of tells atreus that like that's how they settled on his name it was like and he was named after this like epic fucking spartan guy that that um kratos really looked up to and I'm like, I, I don't yeah. know, I just love that moment. It's, it's clever in the use of that, you know, you finish the game, but you still get to like keep playing. It's a nice moment where things are kind of like opened up and you get a, like a really cool story that like, in my, to my knowledge, you never learned, knew about that character before like this game. That's like something they've added in, like another wrinkle that was never shown in the first three or I think any of them, if, to my knowledge, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's been a while, but to my knowledge anyways, and it's just like a nice little, little layer that they added. 
Um, another one personally for me, I, I love the moment where um, Kratos takes off the bandages and shows like the scars from where um, the the uh, the blades, um, like the chains, um, you know, were, were on and had kind of singed his arms or whatever, like over the years. And that, that's really cool, yeah. especially if, if you look at that in comparison to the beginning of the game, because it's the, when he's like, um, what is it? When he, I think he's chopping the tree down or something like that. And it starts to kind of like unfasten. And then like Atreus walks up and he immediately like turns his back to him and like cinches it back up because he's like kind of ashamed of it and he doesn't want him to know of his past. And it's just so cool to see this like grizzled old veteran that has like quite frankly quite the pile of skeletons in his closet i wouldn't even say just a skeleton or two it's like a fucking stack of skeletons in this man's closet and he's like afraid of that getting out and his son finding out that like he kind of used to be a monster although i would argue it's i guess everything is in life is context but i feel like it is kind of justified it's still pretty fucked up like what he did so yeah. he doesn't want i don't know it's, it's just it's just really cool um so yeah there's safe also, to say we're really excited there's also a big moment too that i forgot to mention mm -hmm. um um and this is like one of my favorite ones because this 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 moment shows the the who tr kratos truly is at heart and it's that moment where um they drink that wine from from Sparta. oh yeah and yep. you know and they're sitting down and you know kratos throws it to atreus because you know atreus is like no i can't drink that and Kratos is like no 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 he's like you know this is a toast you know to the place of my birth you know what i mean and you mm -hmm. know uh, atreus drinks it and he's like, you, and he's like, ah, oh. and then Kratos does the same thing. does like a smile. Mm. I was like, dude, that right there, like that's the closest we've ever gotten to see Kratos smile throughout that game. Like, no, that, and I liked that, it. That That's, it kind of touches yeah. on what I was saying, something that we'd mm -hmm. like to see in the sequel now that they're in a little bit better of a place and, and Kratos has kind of given Atreus some respect and, and right. things like that. Um, it's a little nod to like I think some things that we'll see where you know Kratos is kind of being cheeky like he definitely knows the kid's gonna have a tough time like it's alcohol you know and he's a little boy like but it's funny he does it anyways and then kind of has a chuckle that he's so grossed out by it and he's like coughing and stuff and he just grabs it and chugs it like that's that's cool there's a lot of um a lot of good moments honestly um Michael was there anything you want to add anything that really stands out that you liked in the first one that you'd like to see or some things you'd like to see in in two I uh, I just love the switch up on the gameplay style from like that uh, over the top action mm -hmm. to I mean it was still kind of over the top obviously yeah. you're you're fighting gods and shit like that but I think it was just like it was so cool to be able to kind of like I don't know how to explain it it's like it brings you kind of down to earth the camera view does mm -hmm. whereas like and, and it kind of like you know the the combat's more weighted yeah and uh, the fact that that axe is actually supposed to be Atreus's but he's oh, just yeah. not old enough to use yeah. it yet, I assume. So I would assume in future games, maybe even the next game, I, I really don't know I how see. they plan on doing the time jumps in this. Mm -hmm. That could be Atreus wielding that axe. Yeah, well, actually, um, I, I I should just quickly add, because I know some, some fucking uh, real savant's going to be typing a fucking paragraph in the comments. There is actually a point where he does wield it. We just don't see it when uh kratos goes into the uh the light elf thing or whatever and you're in there for a while and he's like tripping out then you come out and it feels like it's been a short span and oh, atreus man. is like he's like yelling at him yeah. and there's piles of bodies and he's like freaking out on him being like what did he say i think he's like he's like i was in here for or i was stuck here by myself for three days or something he says i can't remember how yeah, long was long, it yes. it was a while anyways yeah. and he's like saying like you can you not only can you tell because it was a lot and he you know and he thought kratos was gonna die in there like he just he didn't know what to think because he's in there and he yeah. never came out for a while um, but you see all these stacks of fucking bodies, right? Oh. All these people. And I'm like, okay, so he can definitely wield it and he's capable. But I kind of like that they did that. Um, so I think if he did some stuff there, we'll, we will probably definitely see some more of that going forward. And again, I don't know what the time jump. I know uh, Demetrius and I also discussed before that the, um, the little tease to the sequel when you do go back to Kratos' house. Mm -hmm. or their house at the end um you know you kind of like lay down finally he gets to sleep whatever and then you wake up in the nightmare and it says some years later and we're like that's clever on them to not put an exact number because obviously the voice actors you know aging i mean we all know you know what i mean you're gonna go through puberty and one thing like don't get fooled by like the um atreus like looking the same in that because it's like they're not going to change the character model for no. like, one little like no. a cliffhanger essentially so well, yeah, like, I always shocked you know, him to just that it's like it's a premonition. So it's like, of course, yeah. Atreus would look the same. Yeah, and given know, and yeah. given you know, like the, the whole feeble winter thing and Ragnarok coming and everything, like so obviously some time has gonna been passed, like in the sequel. So 
you know, Atreus is, I think, like, what, like 10 or 11 in the first game. So he's probably going to be, like, between, like, 13 to 14 or yeah. even 15 yep. at the time. Yeah, so, yeah, yep. Um, I can see it. So I'm giving the fact yeah, he's so, a demigod, too. Like, he might be a yeah. little more. And, and also, I mean, the other half of his godhood comes from fucking Kratos. Like, he's jacked. Yes super strong so it's like it's not far fetched mm-hmm. that maybe like a demigod kid that's like 14 15 could wield that axe you know i mean especially yeah. I, I think it was heavily implied that he was wielding it. i think he was like dragging it or it was like embedded yeah. in, in one of the things he killed after that point so when kratos hey, was I, have the thing, guess, I have to guess like because obviously we didn't see a tree is like holding the axe we know that he did though and if i had to guess and I, I never thought about this until now you remember later how we see the spartan rage that he has like like, yeah. like the tease of it mm-hmm. I, I'm betting when he was back into a corner, he activated his Spartan Rage without realizing. It's possible. Like, Honestly, it's, it's yeah. yeah, he might have just went into a trance and not realized because, yeah. again, yeah, we didn't mm-hmm. see that. We're, we're occupying yeah. Kratos, right? Which I think yes. is clever. It leaves a lot of room for, like, yeah. you can kind of um, extrapolate, like, what was happening during that. Yeah. I, I like that. And, kind of and, stuff. Yeah, you know, to Kratos, like, to him, because, you know, like, like, where he's at, you know, it was, like, timeless. So, to him, it felt like he was only gone for a moment. But really, he was gone for a long time. So mm-hmm. it's it, yeah, it, it was really crazy. Like that that part was emotional when you know he was yelling for Faye and all that stuff. Like yeah, it, it, man, I really like that man. Yeah, it, it was really good. Agreed, agreed completely. Um, okay, so quickly, I guess uh, just a couple of honorable mentions here. Um, just stuff that I would, uh, or rather that I liked in the first that we'd like to see more of is like obviously it's God of War. Um, larger than life boss fights crazy fights with like gods i mean we know kratos killed a bunch of zeus's um uh, sorry zeus odin's family so uh you know it's gonna be interesting to see what they do there and i'm actually curious to see how it opens given the opening of the first one with balder i like i kind of hope mm-hmm. in, in this one you, it opens where you like have this badass battle with thor especially because i mean yeah. we all know thor but they did set up a lot with thor in this where like mimir is talking when you're like on the boat um He's talking about how Thor laid waste to all the giants, you know, almost pretty much like for fun. I mean, it was on orders, but you know what I mean? Like pretty much he's that powerful that I kind of hope they open with that because it would, it would absolutely batter like in scale, even the opening fight with Balder in the first one. And that would be nuts, you know, like a lightning bolt and he's throwing the hammer and you're whooping ass because Kratos has already been like leveled up and has the blades and the ax and the shield and all, you know what I mean? He's not just fighting him with his hands. Like you can kind of go all out man that would be awesome so that's another mm-hmm. one i'd love it's just like ginormous boss fights and stuff um yeah i guess it's the, the last thing i could add. oh oh and and some of the some of the realms and stuff they were like locked but kind of hinted at on that like table yeah. that you rotate yeah. will be cool um yeah you know just stuff like that so i, I do i do predict i like i mean we've all said it we think we're gonna get gameplay at this especially because mm-hmm. they've shown a lot of stuff for like horizon lately like yeah. forbidden west almost called it zero dawn um forbidden yeah. west right so I do think that paves the way for uh, gameplay here because that could be the real star of the show. But also, yeah. I, I also, I mean, I definitely think they're going to announce some stuff that we don't know about or have like previously not been announced. There's been some rumors circulating in the industry about maybe like a new Sly Cooper game or some other things. Uh, mm-hmm. I, for one, would absolutely love that uh, because, again, like we're all big fans of Ghost of Tsushima here. Actually, when you see this video, you'll see some footage at some point rolling in the background of me. I captured a little bit of gameplay from... Um, What's it called? The new the new expansion uh, with Icky Island. So yeah. uh, we're big fans of Sucker Punch here, and I've always loved the Infamous franchise as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I guess that about wraps it on God of War. But what else would you guys want to see at this PlayStation? Uh, honestly, I would just love a tease of Spider Man, like even like a title too, yeah. reveal, <laughs> like a sequel. Like because man, that sequel, bro. Like Miles Morales was was the I would say was the. Um, What's what's the you go to a, you go to a, the appetizer, and then I feel like uh-huh. the sequel right. that's going to be the full course. That's right a there, good man. analogy. Like I, I I can't wait for that, dude. Like they set up so much stuff, you know, to pay off in the sequel. So I'm honestly uh, I'm not expecting mm-hmm. them to show gameplay or anything, honestly, because if they if they do if they do show it, I think we're going to get something like we got for God of War, where it's like a title of voiceover. Yeah, uh, yeah, or even know, maybe at most similar to you know we talked about Ragnarok. Miles Morales. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, or yeah, yeah. Sorry, so yeah, exactly. I meant that's what I meant was Miles. Yeah, exactly. Like yeah. something maybe like a little little cinematic with some voice work or whatever, hinting at like Venom and Harry and some of the stakes mm-hmm. and stuff going on. But I, I for one would love that. I'm super yeah. excited for Spider Man Two. I know we're all really hoping it's PS5 and, and, and what, only. And what? And what? And what? Like what? Okay here's what doesn't count that out is the fact that they said they're going to be revealing stuff coming this holiday and beyond and beyond so, yeah yep 
So, like, honestly, if this if this game were to come out, like, fall of 2022 or early 2023, it's still in that window for them to announce that, you know, it's still coming. It's in development, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, so I definitely think that that's what we could possibly see, to be honest. Well, I was going to say, too, also, it's not hard to tell PlayStation's track record. The way they yeah. like to, like, market things and announce games and stuff. I mean, isn't it usually, like, two main ones at a time? But then when you have dates and stuff, maybe they can start announcing some other things. So, like, for instance, we know when... Um, Oh God, I keep wanting to call it uh, Zero Dawn. Forbidden West, when that comes out. Well, yeah. When is it, Dimitris? Mm -hmm. The exact date? February? Uh, if, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's February 18th, I believe. Sometime yeah. late February. I'd have to Google it. I'm yeah. not grabbing my phone. February, but yeah, February. late February. So like we know that. I think we might actually get a release date for God of War here if they show gameplay. So if if we get a um, release date for both, like I, I think it's possible, honestly, because they no, pushed think, it back. No, no, given that God of War comes out and... Um, um given that god of war i mean given that uh forbidden voice comes out in february like i said before oh yeah so yes yeah, so i was right it's february 18th for horizon okay, so cool. um so basically i think they're gonna with god of war because it was meant to come out this year but they pushed it back slightly i think they're gonna aim for an april release like they did with 2018's god of war fair enough that yeah that, that yeah. wouldn't be a bad call but yeah i'm kind of predicting mm -hmm. i think we'll like I would be shocked if we didn't see gameplay, but I think we'll yeah. get gameplay, maybe a new trailer or something, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I do think we'll get a release date. That way people can like firmly be like, okay, it got delayed, but now we know when yeah, it's like, coming uh, out like, like, if, like, like if, not, if not a release date, at least like a, a release window, I think they're going to try to give us. Yeah, okay, that, that's like that. fair. Actually, I should be more general. Yeah. You're right, you're right. Either, yeah. yeah. Probably least yeah. window, best case, the actual date. But you're right, because because Horizon, it, a window might actually be more likely. That's actually a valid point. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay, because so Spider-Man. I, 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 I noticed that. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh, no, I noticed ahead, that with, uh I noticed that with, like, PlayStation. What they do is, whenever there's a, a, um, a title announced for, for a release date, they never really announce their next exclusives release date. They, they always give, like, a window. Because, I, like, because when you announce an official release date, that means people could go on pre-order, and I don't think they want to comp have their games competing with pre-orders, essentially. Yeah, you're right. Because, so, yeah, so I definitely think that's why they, that's pretty much why they wait a, yeah. uh, quite a bit. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Um, okay, so I was going to say, so so obviously God of War and then Spider-Man. I guess mm -hmm. I could kind of just say quickly, like, I am a huge fan of Sly Cooper. I, I'm, I don't, I mean, I'm not expecting that we see something, but God oh, damn it, if we got bro, another oh Sly gosh. Cooper game, I would lose it. That, 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 that was my childhood, man. I, I yeah. Sly Cooper. Oh yeah, also, you guys know. I love Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank, stuff like that. I've seen yeah. people... Sorry. No, go ahead. No, no, you're, you're good. good. Go ahead. I've seen people talking about how they don't think that 45 or 40 minutes is that good of a length, but like, it's a PlayStation that showcase. Is. I think that is. Yeah. And I'm just sitting here like PlayStation showcases are normally just like back to back to back to back. Mm -hmm. Like just yeah. no yeah. really breaks in between trailer, 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 gameplay segment, trailer. Yeah. Um, I also would like to piggyback off that and say since they have openly stated there's going to be a panel or I, I mean, it's not the term they used, but there will be like some discussion stuff after thousand percent they're going to use that to do the talking which does make me think mm -hmm. like you know to, to piggyback what michael's saying off of what michael's saying yeah i do think it's going to be very heavily just like boom 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 get that shit out of the way wrap that up okay thanks for coming hey if you want to stick around for the post show listen to some people talk about some stuff so i think they're yeah. handling it the right way i think that's yeah awesome. yeah 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 i, yeah, I definitely yeah. think they're gonna like let, show god of war let the game speak for itself mm -hmm. and then um once the show's over i think that's when the developers are going to narrate over and talk about what we're seeing yep 100 uh, hell maybe you know, some like of that, them even though. break some stuff down if it's trailers and do a yeah. little breakdown or mm -hmm. something yeah yep or give us a little yep. like some little slices of stuff that wasn't shown in the gameplay or the trailers or the reveal or whatever 100 percent. yeah uh, any anything for you, Michael? Is there anything that's like a big PlayStation thing that you're that hasn't been said that you kind of want to see there? I mean, honestly, they uh, like I might be looking too much into this, but one guy that's like an insider, he posted on Twitter that there's going to be some super announcements. Uh -huh. So like, I mean, he could be hinting at like a new superhero game. Mm -hmm. And honestly, if there was to be a, to be a new superhero game announced, let it be like next gen Hulk game. That'd be pretty cool. I'm not like, gonna lie. Yeah. A little all no, um, it's a you know, pretty easy pseudo ultimate like, destruction. Anyone? Yeah, Anyone? that's pretty much all you gotta do. I love just that game. Ne next gen ultimate destruction. Like the the patterns there. I think what it is is because the way Marvel is and Disney owns them and stuff like that is Disney's like, well, well, you can't just go around throwing people and killing people and smacking people. <laughs> I'm just like, says who? 
That's what Hulk does. He said oh, throwing Hulk. people and smacking people and hitting people. Yeah, I was going to say, isn't that Hulk? Just minus exactly the green? Like, you, th you think he cares about the civilians? No, he's a green rage monster. He, you know? Yeah. That's fair. So. And I mean, it's video game logic. Let people have some damn fun with it. God damn it. Like, come on. Yeah. Um, okay, well, fuck it. Uh, I guess if we're... Uh, we got a couple minutes left here on our first topic. So um, if we're just throwing shit at the wall and hoping it sticks, we brought up Sly Cooper. I am going to say this until my fucking tongue falls out. If we could please get another Jack and Daxter game, please, Naughty Dog. I don't, even if they don't do it, Blue Point overseen by Naughty Dog, I don't fucking care. I know I'm swearing a lot here, but oh my god, please, please. You finished Uncharted, okay? You finished Uncharted. How are you going to leave my boys Jack and Daxter disrespected by the wayside getting the rain splashed on them neglected as fuck like if we don't need an absolute new trilogy listen i'm not gonna cry but if we got it that's what i would like but even at least if you're gonna give us a like jack four and finish it please please whoever does it please i need it that's all i'll say about that i've wanted one for years i still will i will keep wanting one for years especially since last of us was actually created off of the original idea for jack four could we please get a jack four thank you that's all i need to say <laughs> i'm good it's out of his system yeah i can i can sleep at night now <laughs> i really would have kicked um, myself in the ass if i didn't say it hey playstation actually you know what you want to revive a series bring back so calm oh fuckers. please thank you okay all right we got six minutes left here on this first half hour 100 percent. i love so calm as well if we could ever yeah. i know i know zipper interactive like doesn't even exist anymore but they we, don't need to no, uh, well, messed up. no i i got you yeah what like okay there are not enough really good tactical shooters right now like i know people be like well you ghost recon look what ghost recon is right now look what ubisoft has done to ghost recon i would hardly yeah. i mean it it is ghost recon in name but not in spirit you know tom clancy is somewhere rolling in his grave and i say that respectfully like i don't hate ubisoft i i but i i hate this over generic let's make everything a checklist fucking open world copy and paste mechanics from one game like i i mean we didn't need to make this about ubisoft but god damn it you're right socom needs to be the one to come out and be like fuck all of that shit you want actual tactical shooters where you can command the the fourth guy to crawl up on the hill and snipe somebody on your 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 mark, and, and the third guy to uh, stack up on the door and kick it open and throw a, throw a flashbang in while the other two are on the other side. Like we need that shit and perfectly in sync, yeah. massive weapon customization. I'm telling you, there is a place for that in the market right now. All kinds of people want it, and it's just like missing. Like I for one would buy the fuck out of that. I know there's a lot of people that would because tactical shooters are great i love them um so i'm with you actually i would love socom as well but yeah that's I, i'm i'm pretty oh, much yeah. good on on that i mean i think we probably said enough so if you guys want we can transition to the next topic i suppose i mean i think we yeah. pretty much covered everything yep. and we're still doing mm -hmm. decent for time so look at us i guess uh we can be organized ladies and gentlemen look at us we can do it um so yeah so the next topic i guess without further ado god i say that a lot i sound like a fucking idiot um let's get into what we want to see at fandom i'll just let you guys go right in rip rip the cap off there's a whole there's a whole uh plethora of things i want to see at dc <laughs> fandom one gotham knights two suicide squad kill the justice honestly because bro it's been a little over a year since we got anything for these type of games for these both of these games and I'm really curious to see, like, how far gotten the, like, specifically Gotham Knights, because we actually saw a gameplay of it pre-alpha yeah. when, when, uh, when they first revealed it. So I, I'm, I'm really curious to see, like, like, how, like, what they fixed, how far they've gotten in development with this game. Because the thing is, it was scheduled to come out this year. So what that tells me, because it, 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 it was already ahead of Hogwarts Legacy, uh, Suicide Squad. So with that, but honestly... I think they're aiming for a March or April release. Or March. Nah, honestly, I think February. Um, I think they can go as early as February. Yeah. I, I was, I, if it I originally was supposed to come out this it, year. It, it will, no, no, like, the only reason I said March is because, like, there's already, like, a load of games coming. Well, like, it's still possible, but there's, like, a load of... Yeah, you're like, basically, you're playing it a little more safe here. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. 
Because because Gotham Knights is a new IP, and you want your new IP to you know have flourish. Room. Yeah. So um so yeah like because because the thing is they could have very well intended it to be February, but since you have like all these heavy hitting titles coming out like Saints Row, Forbidden West, like all these huge titles, I think they probably want to give it some breathing room and like put it out in March uh, because it's a new IP. Like like th- that's why Ghost you know kind of like launched when they came out um in July because there's nothing there, nothing comes out in July. So uh, mm-hmm. basically um I, I th- yeah I, I definitely we can't wait to see like um like nightwing and uh red hood gameplay um oh yeah we need that yeah because man dude i i've literally been waiting to see nightwing red hood gameplay dude especially off the heels of titans i just gotta say it i know titans is controversial it's controversial people love to hate it some people love it whatever i definitely like the show and i mean yeah it not it has its flaws nobody can deny that but i mean superhero tv shows forget superhero tv shows in general have their flaws i will say though i really love their portrayal of uh nightwing i love seeing brenton thwaites as nightwing right now and i really like kern walters as red hood um both of them look phenomenal on screen like their costumes and design and things so i'm like now more than ever i think that would be the perfect fucking time to come out swinging with some like i would open with like nightwing and red hood gameplay also i mean again Mm -hmm. while we're talking about it i'm just gonna say it again i pray to god batman's not dead it's a court of owl story yeah we have a populated gotham hell in the last gameplay we saw they're literally showing mr freeze like freezing over the city and cars fleeing and crashing and it's like a fucking polar vortex shit in gotham oh it's phenomenal it looks great and i'm like okay yeah so i'm not saying i expect whatever like I, like my ideal thing honestly i kind of hope that we like the bruce isn't dead and we like save him halfway through do i think that's gonna happen no yeah. but like just from a gameplay perspective especially because there's two player co-op again i kind of wish it was like three or four players you brought this up michael that would be better i think it's more for a balanced thing i can see why but just so could, we could have had the whole bat family like kicking ass but i yeah. really really just want to like fly around that gotham as batman and again like, i i need to say quick because you know so, somebody's gonna be like well you had eight years of batman with the arkham games or you know, almost a decade and like we all love arkham but arkham mm-hmm. also had its problems batman i'm just gonna come out and say it flat out he was fucking mr roboto he barely had any emotions for a guy that has all these sidekicks and loves throwing like children and and teenagers and young adults and shit in costumes and basically throwing them at bullets and knives and ninjas and thugs and all this dog shit he he really seems to love to uh push them aside and be like i don't need help i don't need help and it's like i get it like listen batman i'm just gonna say it batman is my favorite hero like of all time i love batman stuff i also love spider-man like i love a lot of superhero stuff aside from just games and and things like that but i do love batman and i do think like batman can be brooding and and a bit of a hard ass and whatever that's fine like we all love that but he can also have a fucking soul and like as a man admit that he like values people and cares about them and i'm not trying to be all like sappy and shit but it's just nice to see that i mean fuck in the first reveal trailer he's like saying how he's like proud of them and that you know all all, like i I forget exactly what he says i'd be like massively paraphrasing so i won't even go into it but he's saying he's like proud of them and they've done well and all these things and you can just tell first of all that guy's voice acting is phenomenal in it um man i I just i really don't want him dead i really don't because it's like this looks like a really good version of batman that actually gives Mm -hmm. a fuck and I'm telling yeah. you, dude, that would be such, such a breath of fresh air after the fucking train wreck of a douchebag that uh, Bats was in Arkham Knight. Like, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Like, also, too, like, another thing I like about this game is, like, the the former protege characters, well, except, well, they're all former proteges except, except Tim, but most of all of them, like, are get already getting more respect and value in this game than they ever did like in the Arkham games because it's like the like don't get me wrong, like I loved Arkham games for the time, but like one thing that, that really um I really wasn't a big fan of with that series was how they downplayed Batman's like proteges. Like it's like they make them like weak get like Nightwing getting captured by Penguin and like Tim getting captured by Scarecrow and all this crazy nonsense. I'm like, this doesn't make any type of sense. And the other thing is, why is Tim with Barbara? You know what I mean? Like, oh, I hate that. And this, and, and, and the, yeah, in the Gotham Knights continuity, it seems like the continuity is the way it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's like, man, like that, it just rubbed me the wrong way. Like, and I love these characters. Like, and, and so, you know, um, for the, and, and like also too, like, the, like Gotham Knights in itself is a huge risk of a game because, you know, 
WB is taking a shot um, with all these characters. And, um, like, Nightwing, um, Nightwing could pretty much hold his own game, essentially, uh, by himself. Because uh, he, he, he's, he's gotten really popular over, you know, the last couple of years, essentially. So, um, the fact that they have the whole Bat family in this game is freaking phenomenal. Like, if Batman, it, like, look, if Batman got brought back, honestly, because here's the thing. I, I like if they're gonna bring I know if they bring Batman back it won't be towards the end of the game because they don't want to take the spotlight off the other characters. Um so uh if they did bring Batman back, honestly I feel like that family would feel completed because it, it it would be an actual like Bat family game because you have Batman and you have all four of his uh former his proteges. And uh to be honest with you, I know the creative director Patrick Redding said that these characters are going their own individual arcs. And I can't and um the character I really can't wait to see um, go, on, go on that journey is him because, you know, he's without his mentor. You know, all these other guys, you know, Barbara, Dick, Jason, they, they've all found out who they were, you know, without being Robin. They all left the Robin Mantle a long time ago. So, you know, Tim, he's still a kid. He's still, you know, trying to figure out who he is in the world and, you know, who he is without his mentor. So I, so I feel like the loss of Batman, not that it doesn't affect the other characters, but I feel like it hits him the most because... Who knows how long he started off with that? So it's like, man, like, I, yeah, I honestly can't wait to see, you know, um, him turn into this force of nature, like the creative director was talking about. Agreed. I know they mm -hmm. they they spoke about. Um, he's he's apparently like, I mean, obviously, if you know Tim, you know, he's a really capable detective, and and I guess he's got he's kind of like a an expert with um, like psychological things and stuff like that. So that's going to be really cool to see them uh, delve into that. Like really, really cool. Uh, I mean, I, I know I, you guys know I've, I've spoke about this before, like privately, obviously not in a recorded video, but I just really hope he can glide. I know they showed the teleporting thing and he has a damn cape. Like he's got to be able to glide, but I'm like, man, I'm a little nervous when they keep showing the teleporting thing. And I'm like, I want to play as Robin a lot. Like you brought up specifically because whether bats is dead or not he he's lost his uh his mentor here even if he's just gone like on a hiatus or whatever you know captured i mean if you know the court of owls yeah. storyline right I, that's what we're actually we're hoping that it's that where he got nabbed and whatever they've done to him you know maybe they made him a talon maybe they brainwashed him i don't know we, i even theorize and this is just a real wacky one but because we know in the symbols that the um the league is there as well the the um league of assassins uh, I always yeah. want to call him League of Shadows because yeah. the fucking Christian Bale movies, goddamn! <laughs> curse you, curse you, guy, Christopher Nolan for that man. That's like throwing me off for years because I saw that movie when I was a kid. It's just stuck with me. I always am like, wait, it's it's, it's Assassins, right? Not Shadows. Yes, yeah, League of Assassins. Since we know they're there because of the logos that were shown off in the teases and shit, I actually throw a real wacky, and I don't even think this is gonna happen. But just like, why the hell not? We're talking about it now. I throw a wheel, real wheel, a real wacky theory. <laughs> And I can't talk today. Jesus, look at me. I'm doing well. Um, a real crazy theory out there that what if Bruce really did die and maybe they had some type of deal with the league where they used the Lazarus pit to bring him back. And then in the moments where he was just brought back because you're kind of easily manipulatable and you're kind of, uh, I guess, the word, for lack of a better word, feral in that moment because you just got br brought back from the dead and you're kind of angry and, and whatever, not right in the head. Fully, I was going to say, what if they kind of manipulated him and then said some shit, I don't know, like brought up his parents and how they were like good friends with his parents or I don't know, some weird shit, whatever, to buy him over to their side where like he kind of doesn't, he forgot like who he really was and then like joins the league and then what if like the last fucking boss is Batman? Also, I, I guess because I kind of skimmed over it um, or just skipped over it. Uh, I think the collaboration, like if they, I think they're going to be fighting over Gotham, like the, the court and the league. But I was saying like, if, yeah. if they did collaborate and made a deal, um, the league's reward in that, like, obviously the courts would be like, okay, we get the son of Gotham to help us take over fully Gotham. But what if, um, the deal they made with the league was like, okay. Um, cause again, anybody that knows the league, we even saw it in Arkham, like, Oftentimes, like, Raish wants Batman to be the heir, like, the successor. It's actually why they ha end up, like, with the whole Damien storyline. is because they're like, well, if we can't have fucking Bruce, then we'll have his biological son be the next one, right? Like, we all we all know it. I mean, at least even on surface level, that's usually what goes down. And again, I'm skimming over. I don't even really read the comics like that. But in the stuff I've seen, that's usually they really want him to join. So um, I'm ranting here. But basically, what if they said, okay, fine, you bring him back to life. We use him as a pawn to get our goals, like this being the court, 
And then when we're done with them, you can have them. And then you finally get the Batman to be the leader of the league. I don't know. I just feel like that could be interesting. It was something like yeah. randomly popped in my head. That and I um and I definitely think uh, if Talia Al Ghul is in this game, I and here's the thing: even though Talia, you know, is is always this sneaky type of person, uh, you know, she's kind of like very overprotective of Bruce. Yeah, she does times. actually love him. I do believe. So that, like. yeah, so I'm gonna be honest with you: if she knows that. I think that's what could possibly put the League of Assassins and the Court of Owls at war with each other is that she finds out that they have Batman, like Bruce, and that's when, you know, all chaos starts breaking out because, you know, she wants him to, you know, like lead their, like you said, lead the League of Assassins and, you know, like, basically, what if Batman has an heir? Like, you know, like his son, yeah. like what if Damien... Yep. You know, it's around so that could definitely add a wrinkle. We know, we know yeah. Bruce is definitely older. I mean, in the trailer, you see like crow's feet and wrinkles and some scars, and you know, he's definitely more experienced. He's not like a a, a young a young chicken, spring chicken, you know, or anything like that yeah. at this point. So um, it, that could that could be like like what if maybe they have an ally or, or an alliance? Sorry, um, you know, the league in the court, but then maybe like Talia throws a, a fucking wrench in that, and she's like, "Wait a minute! Yeah. Like they're using mm-hmm. Bruce? Like, oh, that's my love! Like you can't do that!" And then she kind of like goes off on her own little like rogue thing to try to save him or get a lead to the the sidekicks or you know what I mean? Like, well, now yeah. the Gotham Knights mm-hmm. in this, you know, like that. Yep. It, it could be cool. Really, there's a lot of room for a lot of different things that they could do. As why I can't wait to see more, and and you touched on too seeing their progress. I would love to see yeah, some more of the polish and things. Honestly, because like I, I think that would be a huge bombshell um, for the Bat family if like you know Talia's like I need your help, and like why should we help you? And uh, she goes, she's like basically she basically says because I, I need your help to protect your brother, like Bruce's son. And they're like, wait, what? And like basically, you know, automatically because the Bat family have like such close ties with each other they would be loyal to that because you know the bat family always has each other's backs so like that 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 would be a a, a huge bombshell like yeah. that <laughs> to be honest and especially if bruce is alive and he comes back and discovers that he has a son like that yeah that <laughs> that that would be literally insane like yep. I, I i would I, I don't, man that would be dope <laughs> honestly i'm just excited for a fresh continuity off yeah, of see? like you know being kind of tired with arkham like i yeah. I can't wait to see something new and, and something mm-hmm. I'm so tired of hearing people. I mean, even, even when Gotham Knights was announced, everybody's in the comments. Oh, Arkham, Arkham, Arkham. Oh, it's connected to Arkham. Oh, I wish it was. It's like you had almost a decade of that. Can we please leave room for somebody else to do something else? God forbid they want to do something on their own and not have it tied to Arkham like egregiously just because that word prints fucking money when it comes to games and, and media like I respect them for being like, hey, we want to do our own thing. Now, we don't fully know how that's going to shake out. I mean, hell, I'll, right. I'll play devil's advocate here. Who's the, Maybe it ends up bad. We don't fucking know. But, but like, again, I would still almost rather it be, like, maybe not even, like, the greatest game in the world than, like, another shitty Arkham game just for the sake of yeah. being making an Arkham. You know, like, basically, I'd rather have them try something new and fail at that than, like... I mean, this is kind of crazy to say, but then like succeed with another Arkham game that's just dragged out in the Batman mythos. Now I know, actually, this would be a good good segue into the Suicide Squad game. We know that's actually in the Arkham universe, so there's another, of course, a tie yeah. to that. But mm-hmm. I don't know. I just uh, there's a lot of room for different stories to be told, and I respect them for doing their own thing. Um, yeah. So yeah. with Gotham Knights. Now, actually, I should we should probably segue into that. Um, what do you want to see for the Suicide Squad game? You think we'll get gameplay? I think it's possible I think, considering I, we I, didn't. I, 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 think, I think given given Rocksteady's track record of how they do their games, it's always a reveal trailer and then a gameplay trailer. Uh-huh. That's well, it's been a, a while. Demo. So. Yeah. So yeah. So I so I definitely think this we'll get like a like a sort of like a deep dive of gameplay and they'll show like the different probably like weapon customization the different characters you can pick between the four of them and how they traverse the city and you know yeah i basically think they're going to show off what the game is because they told us what the game was last time but now i think there's it's time they're gonna be like well you know we told them what this game is about so let's show them so i definitely think we are going to get some gameplay to be honest i got you i got you um how do you how do you feel about the story and stuff there like what do you think um so arkham knight wasn't you know the best. It had, you know, there's some good moments. Yeah. Um, but I think Suicide Squad is a whole nother breed because, like, not only are they going to get the Justice League, but this is something Rocksteady, um, because like I know Paul Dini helped with the first two Batman games. Essentially, I know Seth Neil wrote a lot of um, wrote Season Infamy for Night. Yep. Um, 
So it was really Roxanne good. Doesn't write a good. I think yeah, that was so some of the best it. shit in it. Yeah, yeah. So Roxanne doesn't write a good story. Um, I definitely think because of how passionate the stuff they seem about this game, I, I I'm gonna be like honestly, I think this is gonna be their Arkham City. I like all yeah. over again, but for next gen, yeah. like, I, I definitely do because they, they they seem very passionate about working on this game. You know, they uh, I remember when they first start talking about it. You know, you can see the hype. Like, um, so so yeah, I, I man, I, that's the thing too. I can't wait. Like honestly, because my my two most anticipated characters I can't wait to play as is like uh, Harley and King Shark. Um, I can't wait to see like how King Shark fights his weapons and stuff like that. Like man. I think that game's gonna be a blast, and plus an open world Metropolis, bro. Next yep. gen only, like. So now I want people to just I want people to, to think about this. Look how good Arkham Knight looked in 2015, right? And they were using a heavily modified Unreal Engine 3, right? And that was just on current gen. That was on when did that like, come out? It was 2015, com- right? Yeah, 2015. June 2015. I I, yeah. I just want to add that. Okay, we're now in 2021, almost 2022, yes. and you could go yes. boot up on whatever. I know yeah. the PC port was bad. Yes. Boot up night right now and tell me that still isn't some of the best looking rain, or even yes. just graphics in general of a game mm-hmm. from not only that time. It holds up to now, in my opinion. Yes. So what yes, the fuck does. is that? The Suicide Squad game gonna look like graphically? I can't wait. Yes. Right. Yes. No. No. Exactly. And, and like I told people. If you look closely at that trailer, you could tell they're using in-game assets with that reveal trailer. Yeah. Like it's not it's not a blur studio trailer. It's literally them using the, the engine of their game. Like because and you could clearly tell because like it's it's highly detailed and stuff like that. And like some of the hair is not like quite from a blur studio perspective, essentially. Like it's it's no, I got, it's, it's de- it definitely looks more attainable in a game engine. I'm not sure. Did did they ever say like it was legitimate in engine footage? I don't remember. If they, if it actually said, I, I don't remember. Um, e- either either way though, um, it, it's kind of one of those things. Like you're right. I mean, we've seen a lot of blur trailers, and usually like, well, and even if it's not blur, there are some other top notch studios whose names I'm blanking on right now. But there are, um, there's usually a few things like you can just tell. Like there's a few like telltale signs of like, hey, this is a fucking studio that like does this versus this is probably a cinematic in the game. Like it looks way more yeah. attainable on like the tech we mm-hmm. have now. Like, what yeah, the and like, and, 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 and you know, you know, maybe with any other developer, it'd be kind of questionable of like, well, is the game really going to like that? But Rocksteady, from what they could achieve graphically, like it doesn't surprise me the game looks like that. Like it, so it's like, you know, like, and that's the thing, it's been a little over a year. So imagine what it's going to like now, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yep. uh, it, Same with Gotham so, Knights. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, man, like, and you know, from what, from what was rumored, I think, because um, I know it was rumored that Suicide Squad is going to be running on an Unreal Engine 4, essentially. Okay. So, um, yeah. So basically, if they did, if they, like I said, if they did what they did with a heavily modified Unreal Engine 3 for Night and they use an Unreal Engine 4 for Suicide Squad, yeah, that game is, I'm going to be honest with you, that game's probably going to be a graphical, like, generational, like, uh, showcase. Because, mm-hmm. like, like, like they literally, Rocksteady literally achieves PlayStation exclusive level of detail in their games. Like it, it, it's it's utterly ridiculous. Like <laughs> they're 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 very good at that. So uh, honestly, yeah, I just can't wait to see some gameplay to find out what this game is really about. To be honest, agreed, <clears throat> agreed completely. I guess one thing I will quickly add before we segue into the next thing I really want to talk about. Um, <clears throat> I hope that this is a precursor to a Superman game from them. Yes. We yes. talked about that a lot, but be, like, I kind of hope this is them being like, hey, listen, like, we'll dip a toe in the water, test the tech out on next gen, see what we're working with here, and then maybe say this guy, I know it's called like Kill the Justice League or whatever, but we all have some theories around here that's like, hey, it's maybe they go there to kill them, but end up saving them from Brainiac, and then the Justice League with the squad team up unlikely allies to save the fucking world. Like, that's kind of what we're hoping. But man, I would love that if that's what they do, and then use that as a kind of a springboard, a catalyst, if you will, to get a fucking Superman game, because I know Rocksteady loves soups. They always wanted to make a Superman game, but they were like, oh, I don't think we can do it. Again, I'm massively paraphrasing. I'm probably super factually incorrect here. So take it with like the largest fucking grain of salt ever. But you know what I mean? I believe there was something said that they weren't sure they could feasibly make a Superman game with the tech at the time. So like, we'll go over the next best thing, Batman, right? And they did Mm -hmm. like, not for nothing. Like Arkham is still phenomenal. Those games, it's just night had some problems. You know what I mean? But it's still really good. It just had some problems, right? So if that's still, I would say majority of Arkham was fucking phenomenal, right? Like nobody can deny that. It's like, even if you absolutely hated night, two thirds 
I think most people would agree, even if like maybe you don't agree, like as somebody watching, right? Most people would agree, like unanimously, that at least two thirds yes. of Arkham was super good. So if they could do that with with the character that wasn't their favorite, imagine what they could do with Superman. And I know there's a big demand for Superman games, so I gotta throw it out there. Also, I mean, I don't know who all watching this has seen it, but I won't spoil mm -hmm. anything. But the CW, I can't believe I'm fucking saying this, a CW Superman show, the new one, Tyler Hecklin does a phenomenal job i for one yes, person really like it yes, I, know, I know demetrius really likes it i can actually speak for him on this because we've talked at length about it so i feel yep. like again like we brought up with nightwing and red hood on the small screen now with with titans you know that that leaving like a a kind of a, a window to see them in the game i feel the same with superman and the cw show and it would be a perfect time for a superman game so i really hope it leads into that mm -hmm. um sorry a little yeah. little little fucking segue there but i definitely didn't want to talk about that game without mentioning it because i know it's something we've um all talked about yeah. before mm -hmm. i do want to add yeah i do want to add that that suicide squad game gives me heavy and i mean heavy uh sunset overdrive vibes oh yeah all right. yep. Oh yeah, the coloring. Yeah, the color palette. Yeah, yeah the coloring, just the vibe of it overall. Uh -huh. And it's like yeah. I hope and like I don't want to say I hope it's Rocksteady's uh what Sunset, fuck, Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. Excuse me. You good? Uh, All right. Told, because the game I, didn't that that game didn't sell well. But I'm telling you, man, Sunset Overdrive <laughs> from like has gained like a little following over ever since like Sony acquired the IP to that. People are like, make it, bro make that game yeah <laughs> we want no, that no no, no no honestly too like i i think you know james gunn suicide squad did rocksteady some favors because i think like it made more people want to give the suicide squad more of a chance you know what i mean uh -huh. so yep it's it's it helps them out and i in you know i believe like when we see this game we're gonna be blown away like because ro ro that's that's one thing rocksteady ever fails to do so when they put on a the show they put on the show so <laughs> I, I i honestly can't wait man i'm excited I'm really excited. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I guess that leaves room for the final thing that I wanted to touch on. Uh, I can't believe we're this close to our time mark here, and we haven't even said it yet. The Batman. I cannot oh, fucking yes. wait yes. to see more yes. for that. I am super excited. I like this mm -hmm. really dark... Robert Pattinson. Who would have thought the fucking sparkly vampire from Twilight might, might actually end up being a very good Batman. We, You know, time will tell. I know that test screening was like overwhelmingly positive. You know, there was mm -hmm. kind of some, some words were going around, some, some thoughts, if you will about it. They were saying, we're comparing it to like a horror movie. It's really dark and like fucked up. And I'm like, good, good. Like that, I want that so bad. Like I, I want mm -hmm. that. I like the feel they're going for with their Gotham. Um, Riddler looks fucking terrifying, looking like the Zodiac killer and shit. Like yep. it's, it looks great. Like I'm actually very excited. I know there was rumors that he gets a second costume. I can't wait to see that too. I'm not the biggest fan of the stitches in the cowl. I get it. It's a makeshift thing, excuse me. And it's early, so like whatever. I'm not shitting on it. I still like it, but I want to see his like more formative years like type costume or a little more established i also want to see his clean cut bruce wayne um but man i i don't, I don't even know what to say because we've seen so little i guess all i can say is that last trailer was phenomenal their song mm -hmm. choice was great with um something in the way uh, by nirvana real eerie tone that gives you and stuff and i'm like i God, I literally, I'm just going to be a broken record. I should just shut the fuck up because all I have to say is I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm like a kid on Christmas. I really want to see that so bad. Um, honestly, honestly agree. Like it, like it's from what they're talking about, this is probably going to be one of the most comic book look, looking, uh, comic book accurate looking Gotham's we've got in years. So I hope um, so, man. Like, man, I, because they're, they're going with the gargoyles and all that stuff. Yeah. Like, yep. Which is very In some of the, the places so, like, where they go, like, uh. Was it London or somewhere where they were shooting? Or was it yeah, Scotland? London. Where, London yeah, like, in London? Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, they, yeah, they shot some... Uh, there's some, like, set photos London. and stuff where yeah. the stunt guy or whoever is fucking perched up on a big, like, clock tower looking mm -hmm. thing. And, like, and I'm like, yep. oh, yeah, bro. I can't yeah. wait. Same. Oh, I'm so excited. Same. Same, Can you bro. guys tell that we're right. excited for Fandom? Almost, maybe, as, as, absurd, as, as absurd as this sounds... I might actually be more excited for Fandom than this PlayStation event this Thursday, which is like no, baffling so, to me. No, honestly, no, honestly, it, it's a like, I, I, like the PlayStation showcase is a very, very, very close second. Yeah. But like, I feel like the reason why um, I put Fandom over that is because 
it's been a long time since we got since we got a Batman movie. It's been a long time since we got anything from Rocksteady or anything from W Games Montreal. So like that that's that's what I'm really looking forward to is is all three of those things. Like I I, I really can't wait because I feel like those are going to be the highlights for me. And also too, I can't wait to see The Rock as Black Adam. Like, oh yeah, yep. Yeah. Yo yeah, that's oh, that's man. going to be a dream casting. Dream. Oh yeah. Choice. yeah. Maybe oh, we can yeah. see the new. Uh, maybe we can see the new Shazam movie. I don't know how. I don't even know if that movie's filming yet, but. Oh yeah. no! It, the, 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 new, the, the new Shazam uh, uh, movie is done filming. Oh, oh it's well, done filming. okay, oh, so all right, we'll, Michael. We'll get a trailer, Add a little we'll feather in your trailer, cap there. Oh. Yeah, we might. Mm-hmm. But Black Adam, Black Adam is done filming as well. So okay, then yeah, all right. We, you know, we've touched on mostly, yeah. but it, it's safe to say we'll probably see a good bit of stuff there. Then I got to can't. Mm-hmm. I absolutely yep. can't. Then, oh yeah, oh yeah. Then uh, it'll be stupid of me not to mention this. Another thing I'm so excited for is Young Justice Phantom season four. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Duh. Oh man, that's. I don't. I can't. I don't understand why I even forgot about that. Uh, yeah. Dude, that, there's too much good stuff, show, right? Not enough yeah, time. That show, bro, that show is my all-time favorite. I show. love Young like, Justice. Young Justice is phenomenal. Best version of Dick Grayson in that show, hands down. Like literally, it's, like, it's they, real funny. I remember for years I didn't know that that was Jesse McCartney. I actually, yes. as stupid as this sounds, I think I didn't know until like season two or maybe even three. I felt like the dumbest person that walks the earth i was like i it's it is and you were like yeah it's fucking jesse mccartney i'm like the boy band guy from like the old disney channel yeah. with the button you're like yeah man that guy and i was like the yeah. fuck and then i heard it and i was like holy shit so jesse mccartney yeah. you are a god in that your performance is phenomenal please keep up the good work we love what you do mm-hmm. we love what every everybody every voice actor all the team members yep. that make the show everybody thank you for young yep. justice thank you for bringing it back and, 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 yeah. thank, and thank you, and thank you to Gray Wiseman for making the best version of Calder. Like, oh literally. god, like hands that, down. Dude, Calder in that show is phenomenal. Like, man, <laughs> he's one of my favorite characters. Yeah, so, yeah easily, mm-hmm. easily. The OG, te- the OG team. Oh, yeah. I'm happy they're getting a lot more focus in season four. So, oh, I, I, can't really can't wait. Wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So. All right, well, shit. Should we wrap it up there, boys? We're still yeah, a think, couple minutes ahead think, of schedule um, here. I think we're doing well. I think, yeah, I think that's everything uh, I needed to say. You good? Uh, you good, all Michael? The things that we're looking forward to. Yep. You good too? Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. Hell wow. Yeah, Look at us. We actually did it. We're actually on schedule here. So, I guess that will be where we close. Um, thank you for watching our first official uh, podcast episode of Brocast. We'll be probably doing this weekly. I will say tentatively now a probably but we aim to do it weekly it's just i'm actually picking up video editing to help out our main editor dom and some things so obviously some things are being restructured moved around you know stuff like that i'm still picking up a thing or two i'll actually be editing this podcast so um but yeah we're gonna aim for weekly we seem to really like doing this type of stuff i i i love it i mean whether it's video games or movies or shows or whatever i mean i could easily sit down with you guys and do fucking five hour long podcasts. I never will yeah, same, for the sake of my same. editing sanity, but <laughs> it's, I mean, there's yeah. lots to talk about. Um, and actually I guess, you know, for the viewer expect another podcast sometime after we're going to do one recapping. Um, probably it'll be in the next couple of weeks. Cause I think Michael said he's going to be away like the weekend after Thursday, like this weekend coming up. So it might not be like right after we'll figure out how we'll get that kind of, uh, uh, shaken out so to speak but um expect the next podcast you know expect us to be covering the playstation showcase and and really unpacking Mm -hmm. some things maybe even some some goodies that we didn't uh predict here so i guess um with that being said like i said again thank you for thank you so much for watching we hope you enjoyed the video if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing we uh we're trying to grow this platform it's something that we love doing so if you enjoyed the video or agreed with any points that we said anything like that even had a minute of entertainment please consider subscribing show your friends leave a comment we'd love to discuss some of this stuff with you guys absolutely would love it um yeah and and with that being said i guess we'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching take care later